Today let's talk about an Italian art term that my sister hilariously always calls impasta. Let's talk about impasto. Hey guys, it's Karen. Welcome back to Little Art Talks. Impasto, meaning in paste, is thickly applied paint. Unlike sfumato, where paint is applied very thinly with invisible brush strokes, impasto has texture created from the thick application of paint and shows visible brush strokes or cuts of the palette knife. The easiest way to tell if a painting has impasto or not is to stand on the side and look at the painting in profile. If you see the canvas with some paint sticking off of it, then you know there are areas of impasto on the painting. Impasto was first noticeable in the paintings of Venetian Renaissance artists Titian and Tintoretto. Baroque masters like Rubens, Rembrandt, and Velazquez used impasto to catch light from the surrounding room and cast a small shadow on the painting, heightening the chiaroscuro on the image for a more dramatic lighting effect. They would render the highlights of metal jewelry and armor with thicker paint so that they would shine even brighter. It became increasingly notable in 19th century landscape, naturalist, and romantic painting. The use of impasto became very popular among modern artists as the idea that the surface of a painting should have its own reality rather than just being a smooth window into an illusionistic world beyond. The paint of a painting itself becomes the work of art as opposed to being the means of creating this illusionistic world beyond. With this went the idea that the texture of the paint and the shape of the brushstrokes could directly convey the artist's emotions or feelings on a particular subject. This idea that artists should place emphasis on the innate qualities of their medium is one that's central to modern art and is summarized in the phrase truth to materials. So since you're painting, you should be able to tell it's a painting. The paint should look like paint. In the mid 20th century, some artists took impasto to the extreme. As seen in the work of Frank Auerbach, Jean Dubuffet, and Leon Kossoff. I hope this video helped you better understand the meaning of impasto. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe for more videos on art history. To celebrate hitting 9,000 subscribers and saying thanks to everyone who supports us, I'm giving away an Art & Cove daily laptop backpack. Check out the link in the description bar on how to enter. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.